Hi, and thank you for your interest in our residency program. We are the Medical College of Georgia Adult Neurology Residency Program. Our program is built on a legacy of people. Our department is the department at our institution where many medical students, even those who have chosen other specialties, often come back and do sub-internships with us. They do not do this because neurology is easy here. It isn't. But our department is engaging and we realize that neurology is best shared when people take that educational journey together. So we make every effort to ensure that learners of all levels are engaged and included in the process and therefore off-service rotators as well as rotating students and our residents find our department to be very hardworking but also enjoyable and fun. Our department won the institution's best teaching department award for this very reason. Our faculty and residents, they love neurology and it really shows. Our program is a categorical four-year neurology residency program. We recruit six neurology residents each year. We are a diverse department made, of, made up of MDs, DOs, and we also accept qualified foreign medical graduates on J-1 visas as well. Our department is well known for being a referral center in our area. We house a comprehensive stroke center. Our vascular neurologists run one of the best known telestroke networks in the southeast known as REACH. We house a comprehensive level four epilepsy center, an MS or multiple sclerosis center of excellence, Parkinson's and Movement Disorder Center of Excellence, and we have an ALS center on our campus. Our MCG faculty also run two of the three ALS centers serving the state of Georgia. Our residents are exceptionally well-trained. With our legendary morning report, which is ran by Dr. Fenwick Nichols in our didactic schedule, which includes an annual course in neuroanatomy, a bi-weekly course in neuroradiology, a bi-weekly to monthly course in EEG reading and in the interpretation of EMGs, and also a monthly pediatric conference, which is ran in conjunction with the pediatric residency program. At the beginning of the year, our residents attend a boot camp where neurological emergencies and also procedural skills are taught. They are taught lumbar punctures and proper mechanisms for performing the lumbar punctures. And following that, we move through the curriculum in a block format, focusing first on vascular neurology, neurocritical care, and epilepsy, because those are often the topics of consultations that they may see while they're on call. We round out the year with the other neurological subspecialties, including multiple sclerosis, um, movement disorders, general neurology. Resident life is excellent here. We are on a night float schedule with rotating junior and senior residents. Our residents enjoy various wellness activities, which have included an annual meet and greet, a pool party, bowling, a holiday party, rock climbing, and humor humorous resident appreciation celebrations honoring their hard work and dedication. We also have the David Hess Academic Neurology Award, which is awarded to the resident at each level who scores highest on the standardized resident in-service training examination. Last year, we were excited to have three residents in our graduating PGY4 class who all scored above 90th percentile above all examinees on the right exam. Augusta, most well known for being the home of the Masters Golf Tournament, actually has a very affordable cost of living and residents are actually able to own their own homes, rent homes, or live in gated apartments here. The commute is easy. A recent poll of our residents shows that many of them are within 10 to 12 minutes of the hospital. There are opportunities for fellowships here as well. In the past, our residents have secured their top tier choices in fellowships. In our department, we offer fellowships in neuroendovascular neurology, vascular neurology, movement disorders, multiple sclerosis, slash neuroimmunology, clinical neurophysiology. During this video, you will hear from our chief resident as well. Um, he is, will be able to give you more information about resident life from the resident perspective. Please also follow us on social media at MCG Neurology Residency. Please also use our website to find additional details about our program and to connect. 
Our program turns out strong neurologists who have been exposed to a diverse patient population and who have trained with some of the best neurology educators around. Thank you for taking a look at our program and we hope to see your application soon. Hi, my name is Gerald Wallace. I'm one of the chief residents this year at MCG and they asked me to talk about resident life. So one of the biggest advantages of Augusta the city is housing is very affordable. We've got residents who own, residents who rent, who live in one of the apartment complexes if you don't want to have to deal with the maintenance of a home or a yard. Or you can get the yard, get your dog, get your cats, get your kids, and take care of business that way. The other advantage to that is everything is very approximate, so things are very close to the hospital. We live on the Savannah River, so you can live close to the water on the South Carolina side or the Georgia side, whatever floats your boat. And all of it is a very quick hop from your home to the hospital and back again. Augusta is not a large city, a medium-sized city, but we are very close to Atlanta and we're only a few hours from the beach, whether that is Charleston, South Carolina or Savannah. And we're really not far from Florida either if you want to hop down that way. One of the advantages of living in Augusta, in addition to having affordable housing and things being close to the hospital, is that we have a great network of friends. My wife and I became very close with the people locally in town who are affiliated with the hospital. We also have a great network of friends here with the, among the residents whether it's the internal medicine or the neurology resident. There's always someone you can call, always someone you can go out with, someone you can do something with. COVID has put a real hindrance on that, but the advantage is we're all in it together and we're all here working together. So it works out in the end. I think the last thing that's probably most important about um, resident wellness is when you ask the question of how close are you to your attendings, to your bosses, and I can tell you in the three and a half years that I've been here, I have called every attending at some point in the middle of the night, uh, first time with a little bit of fear, but after that, no worries, because they're always available for any question you have. If you're stuck in an emergency and you're not sure what to do, they're there to help you. If you are pretty certain about what to do and you're trying to figure out how to manage something that's outside of the ability of a resident to do, they are here to help you and that's 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I've never had anyone who was upset with me calling them. And on top of that, there's some of them that we spent time with outside of the hospital. So it's a good network. Hi, my name is Suzanne Strickland. I'm one of the child neurology faculty members here at Augusta University. I have been here for approximately 10 years as after training. I am homegrown and then I did my pediatric training here as well as I stayed for neurology and then at Join faculty as well. So um, I have been here quite some time and if you have any other questions you are certainly welcome to always call me and ask me about those things. So my primary interest is in epilepsy. I did go out into private practice for approximately five years and then came back to the department to primarily focus on epilepsy and epilepsy surgery. Um, I am the program director for child neurology. Um, we admit for we interview for one child neurology resident every other year, but we do hope to complement that over the next five years or so as we're able to add faculty members. Our child neurology program is very intertwined with the Children's Hospital of Georgia. We are a consultative service, so we admit to general pediatrics and then consult alongside with other subspecialties. All subspecialties are represented at the Children's Hospital. So that does provide us with a great diversity of patients and uh, large exposure to many different cases. We have a very large referral base throughout Georgia as well as South Carolina, being one of the largest children's hospitals in the area. Our pediatric neurology call is alongside adult neurology. We uh, work very closely with the adult neurology residents, and so there is always an adult neurology resident on call with you. And the adult faculty is amazing as far as support goes for those nights that you are taking call with and will have to see adult patients. But again, you do have an adult neurology resident with you as well as the very available um, adult faculty. So we are very excited to have you look at our program and come to visit us virtually. And we look forward to answering any of your questions that you may have. Feel free to email me or Dr. Moorhill if you have any further questions.